What's up guys, Craig Allen here with another episode of No Edits. Thanks for staying locked in. And we are currently with my homie Blockzilla right here. What's up, Block? What's going on, baby? Chill, I'm gonna tell you, man, it's, it's really hard to get this guy an interview. Hey, how long I've been trying to get you in front of the camera? Just just an interview for just a little bit of a little bit of the knowledge. Like two weeks? Nah, bro. Two on. years. It's been two years. I do. It ain't been two years. years. Stop playing. Been playing. I've really been trying to get out here. All right, so <laughs> let's let's start with this because I want to get the the obvious out the way. Is there a reason why we have uh, Meat Mill and Whisk Leaf in the background? Uh, I just didn't want it to be a standard cubicle, so I stole both of these. Mm -hmm. So I stole this one from Meat Mill listening session. I stole this one from Whisk Leaf's listening session, and they're mine now. So you then, you really stole them now? I really stole them. Yeah, look. If you look closely, there's a hole. This was on the wall. I took it. I took it. I ripped it off. It looked like you was hanging out with. You really was hanging out with them. It looked like a bullet hole. No, it was. You know, they do the little twisty tie. Oh, okay. It. I feel. And that's the point it. of the other obvious. We're sipping. Yeah. You know. Miller High Life, just shout out to the people at Miller. They just came and blessed me with these new special edition cans. So they gave us like 40 of them. Um, I just had to have it hands in my hand. I have more. I'm going to bless you with. Yeah. That, I appreciate that. And I know he's someone like, he ain't gonna give you no can. He really gonna give me a can. I would've had it right now, but it is what it is. Yeah, it's all on the other side. It's like, we gotta go through stuff and, you know, my bad. I'm gonna get one for you, I promise. So, I gotta say, man, this guy inspired me. When we talk about Blockzilla, this guy is what? What do you think you are? I mean, to me, you, 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 you kind of uh, grind, you're trailblazer. When you talk about interviewing, no cards. He'll do a 10 minute interview off the brain. I mean, what do you think of yourself, man? Tell the people. I, I think I could be better. I, th I think How can I could be better, bro. I, I think I could be better. You know, I, you know, I feel like I'm one of the best, but the people got to say that. That's not for me to say. So, would you consider yourself a people's champ? Would I consider myself? Sorry, Meek. Meek is drunk. Meek is sipping too. Uh, the people's champ. Um, I don't know. I consider myself. Blockzilla, that's I'm just me, man. I'm just me. I'm and I, I'm gonna tell you how real it is. I remember. I think it was a story you were telling about. How sometimes you go to the club and you don't always get in. Sometimes you got to text. I mean, maybe different now. I don't know if I read this a long time ago. It might have been a long time ago. Yeah, but I read that story I I think mean, a long time ago. But you're the official now. I don't even be on the list. I get, but I'll, I'll, if, I, if I'm not on the list, I'm not going. Right. First off, if I, for, I, I know I could get in a lot of places. Right. But if I'm not on the list, I'm not going. Yeah. Point blank, period. Like, I'm not, I can't just walk up at any spot. I can't front like that, but it's a lot of spots I could. Like, I went to Mariah Carey. Ooh. Um, listen to session when she had her album recently. I just walked up. It was like, oh, you blog, you want to listen, right? I was like, I want to fast forward a little bit. I just want to let the people know how did you first get started, and for those who don't know about like your path, because we just see you on the website all the time, just murdering it. And don't worry, I'm, I'm gonna get to the to the movies and all that other stuff you're doing. But how did you first get started? Because you started with music, you know, right? Just interview music? Uh, and I started by relation. I started on MySpace. So yeah. when I first got started, I started on MySpace. I wanted to talk shit to my baby mother. So I started writing a blog on MySpace. People started reading it and I would take different celebrity topics and bring it onto relationships. So that's how I started. So like, um, that's, how, that's how I started. Just on MySpace talking shit, writing about relationships. I was the first black relationship blogger. I ran the biggest black a relationship blog online and then we mix it over to entertainment and it always had an entertainment sort of uh hint to it right but now we you know it's all entertainment right but what made you make that big jump to a list celebrities doing movies interviews and things like that reviews. i wanted i wanted to watch movies i've always loved movies i always loved film so yeah. i just said you know what i want to i want to cover film i want to do film so i just did it i mean you say it so casually but there's a lot of male journalists who stick to one thing, and I'm not throwing no shots out there, and we, and I love the movement people are making, but you gotta give yourself more credit because some people stick in the one genre, but it seems like you're trying to do the three-head monster and go at it hard. Yeah. With movies, music, relationships, and maybe add on to your, your empire. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you cover entertainment, so entertainment is all of that. Hip-hop mm -hmm. is all of that. You know, they made Crush Groove in what, 80-something, you know what I mean? They right. made Beef Street in 80-something, they made, you know, all those movies in the 80s, it was hip-hop. Right. So you, you cover everything, that's entertainment, that's hip-hop, that's all a part of the culture, it's so, not just music. Speaking of Bobby Shmurda, man, <laughs> I mean, not speaking of, but bringing up Bobby Shmurda, he was on your show. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, he, he's dealing with a situation right now. Yeah, free Bobby Shmurda, free GS9. It's sad to hear what they do and what, what they're going through. You know, I mean, what is your, your obvious uh, feeling about what is what is going on with that whole crew? I don't, how that went down. I don't know the ins and outs and the particulars of it, no. but um, I, I wish he was out. I feel like Bobby should have been at Summer Jam. 
You know what I mean? I feel like Rowdy should have been at Summer Jam. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know the details of their case and why they not out and none of that stuff. But like, I feel like they should have been at Summer Jam. I'm just sad to see them locked away because they had talent. They got talent. They got a lot of talent. And then it's sad too because that song has so much heat with it, and now it's this whole thing happened and kind of. I'm like when Chris Brown was in jail, and they then Loyal was still burning up the streets. They put out, they put out Bobby Bitch, they put out uh, uh, Shmoney Dance, they put out. Uh, uh, he taught you the Shmoney Dance. Computers, yeah, they put out all of these songs. So like, um, Hot Nigga, they put out four bangers, mm -hmm. and that's not even the, the counting the other bangers that we got coming right. that we ain't heard yet. So they was putting out good music. I feel like they fu the future for them was was big, and I, they're young too, so it's not over for them. They can get out, you know they catch a break or something, I don't know. Facts. Now, speaking of relationships, man, we spoke on that earlier. You know, uh, you said you had your, uh, you were you heartbroken when you heartbroken? Should I say that on camera or were you, now you got a new girl? Uh, right. So give me some advice, because you know, I've been, I've been a young player like me and trying to be in the streets. Of, what kind of advice you want? I don't want to put it situation? too much out there, because then she gonna see this interview and be like, I knew I got that name. <laughs> but just <laughs> games. Why do people play games? I don't understand why Why can't they just be straight up I feel like I feel like females now are straight up. We just gotta listen to them more. Like they tell you exactly what they want. Um, we just gotta listen to them more. We don't listen as men. We don't listen. They tell mm. us exactly what they want. We just don't listen. We think they playing because uh, they, they the way they deliver is different. But and then we hear what we want to hear all the time because we men. So they tell us what they want. We just gotta listen better. It's always about listening. I was thinking about that. I really did have to listen better. So man, even when somebody lying, they telling you the truth. So how did you find your new girl? Uh, I'm singing right now. You singing? Sing, yeah, I'm singing right now. Uh, I'm singing right in the mingle. What's up, ladies? What's Instagram going on? Instagram and all that. What's, what's up? going on? Add me as your, uh, what's it? Uh, your, your, what's it called? Your MCN, Man Crush Monday. <laughs> if you need me, I'm He wants you to be his Man Crush Monday. He wants you to be Man Crush Monday. What's up? No. <laughs> all right, I know this is cliche, man, but I got, because you got so many people, and I'm going to think, like, who was the baddest chick you interviewed to this day? Zoe Kravitz. Ooh, why is she so hot right now? Zoe why is she on the hot list right now? Zoe Kravitz was dope. Uh, Jennifer Aniston. Um, oh, I love her. I do I chatted like her. with her. Yeah. Um, just sat down with Bryce Dallas Howard, who's phenomenal and beautiful um, for Jurassic Park. Uh, I, I also think Emily. The new one? Yeah, or the Jurassic Park. The, 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 okay. Uh, I also think Emily Blunt's really hot, too. So, how many years literally have you been? You've been doing, I mean, journey. How many years have I been? I've been the, blogging. The, the years from when, hey. the years from when you first started to the years where things got okay to the years where things got greater. Well, I started my blog in 2007. Prior to that, I had already been writing for about four years. So, so you were a writer before the actual format. I just came. No, I'm not a writer. I've never been a writer in my life. Uh, um, but okay. I had a blog uh, <laughs> four years before 2007. So what was that? 2000 and what three? <laughs> Three, four, yes. five, six, seven, yeah, three. How I started blogging in 2003 on MySpace. How many no's did and you then, hit before you, oh, but the MySpace was I ain't never had no no's. You never I ain't never had an intern. I, I, I started my blog in 2007. I wrote a blog called Five Reasons Why I Would Do What's On Kaya's Shirt. Kaya, my, my neck, my back. She had a shirt that said, fuck Kaya. And I was like, yeah, I will fuck Kaya. So I wrote a blog about that. Russell Simmons and Wilbur Brown read it, and then they hired me, and I've been here ever since. Yeah. Well, I, not ever since, because when I got the job, uh, I had to decide, okay, I'm working right. with Russell Simmons, I'm a blogger now, they pay me very well. Right. Let me go down to Atlanta, mm -hmm. and you know, I know a bunch of people down there, I could get some entertainment stuff. Right. Went to Atlanta, got locked up for 45 days. Uh -huh. So I was in jail for 45 days, and little Brown was like, yeah, nah, you gonna pass on you a little bit, you got a little bit. So that did that, but that's, when I got out, I kept grinding. Uh, I broke the Vince Young story, when I'm drinking tequila out the bottle with all his boys, those were my pictures. Um, I broke that story. Uh, Mayno uh, talking about Rick Ross being a correction officer. I broke that story. Um, should you know? I, I was first on a lot of stuff, or close to first on a lot of different hits. Uh, there was alleged beef between Monica and, and Beyonce. I remember that. Yeah, remember that, that was my story. Monica called that. me personally and told me about it. So I kept breaking all of these stories, and then that's when the, that's when the blog got big. I was like 2007, 2000. That was 2007. And uh, 2008 maybe, and then it just blew up from there. Kept on, kept running. Okay, so from 2007, eight, I guess 2007, eight-ish, right? So between 2008, nine, ten, eleven, 
You broke the stories. I, I broke all the stories from Rita's Ice. I ain't had no place to live. I was homeless. Can you tell them what Rita's Ice is? Rita's Ice is an ice cream parlor. It had ice. I have my daughter with me. I have a, I have a daughter. It's, it's so. basically like an East Coast thing. Like, cause I'm I moved here from Texas, so okay. a lot of people wouldn't know what Rita's Ice is. Oh, uh, Rita's Ice is an ice cream yeah. parlor. So it's like there's an like icy, like Italian icies. Uh, but they got them in the stores everywhere, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I mean, it's becoming more big now, but some people may yeah. not know, you know? So, there's yeah. an ice cream parlor, blog out of the ice cream parlor, uh, and uh, and people would read my stuff. I would be in there all day because they had free Wi Fi and it was air conditioned. Like, had I had no idea they had Wi Fi. Yeah, they had, well, the one I was living by had Wi Fi. So, what was the pressure like when you first got the, you know, you first got the job, you broke all the stories? It wasn't no pressure, I just was on the internet doing me. After, even when, after you got I, I the job. I never felt pressure. Nah, I never felt pressure. Nah, felt nah, why? Pressure for what? I'm gonna I'm beat me regardless. So when you got there, it's like, I gotta keep it. I gotta keep this shit. We gotta keep, we gotta keep this thing going. It's always a hunger to get the story. Always, right. to this day. It's a hunger. I want the story. I want to be first. I want to, I want you to read my stuff. I want you to find my information. Look at my interview. I always want to be first. Here's a good story. Who do you think is your competitor right now? Me? Me? I mean, it's a, but it's a, it's my competitor. I'm not competing with nobody. I do what I do. Yeah. Can't nobody be the best. Me. So you just see yourself in your own lane. I yeah. I, mean, I, I see people. I see people. There's other people in my lane. Other people getting in my lane, but I'm being me. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be me regardless. Yeah. So if anyone come in and try to be me, they gonna fail because they can't be me. Like right. if I get in the game and try to be Charlemagne, I'm gonna fail. I can't be Charlemagne. Yeah. I can't be Elliot Wilson. I can't be Shout out to Elliot Wilson, he's cool. I can't I can't be I can't be, you know, you. I can't be nobody else other than myself. Yeah. So I can't be tax on. I can't be nothing. I gotta be myself. So okay. I'm I'm me. I would say and I, I love that you think that and I love that you are you, but I had to say if I feel like someone else who can conduct an interview and keep it one hundred percent for I don't know, thirty minutes to an hour. It would be Elliot Wilson. Yeah, I gotta that's be that. honest, and I gotta be honest in that. Um, and Matt, cool too. Yeah. So no, I, I think that I think that's my personal opinion. Yeah, Elliot's dope, uh, and I think Elliot's one of the best. I remember reading all his stuff back in the day. I still watch all his shows now. I will spend an hour just watching Elliot Wilson videos on, on YouTube, and you can learn a lot. It's just so crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but. But when it comes to interview style, I just ask what's popping in my head, what's right. me, you know what I mean, right. how I look at it. I feel like you give that different feel because it's like, you give like you give the interest feel, like, so you've been interested in movies. So what about the person who was interested in movies? You kind of ask those questions about a moviegoer who would ask those questions. Mm -hmm. Or someone who listens to music, that kind of interest of, you know, that kind of that kind of way. Yeah. So it's, it's a little like, you know, in the middle a little bit, but it's highly interesting. Thank you. Because it's what the common viewer wants to see. I mean, would you yeah. say that? I think so. I mean, but sometimes a lot of times I ask a question that I feel like I'm the only person that want to know. Like when I had Ashanti on the No Judgment Zone, I said I might be the only person that want to know this, but is that you singing I'm Real on J-Lo featuring uh, Ja Rule? She was like, yeah, I sang the edit for it, the uh, demo for it, and they kept a lot of my vocals. Really? Yeah. That's so, crazy. So. So that's the type of stuff that I'm like, okay, I have these ideas and these things that I want to do and, and what I think. You know, when you watch them, you think something. And you're like, I might be the only person that want to know this, but is this how it is? And a lot of times it is. I don't know if it's against the law to ask someone at, you know, your position, um, or the science of interviewing. I know someone asked me the other day, I have my own style. You know, like, like you say, it's just different styles and I think everybody stays in their own lane. Mm -hmm. But what would you tell somebody who's trying to get into the art of interviewing someone that, whatever, I mean, what is the art of interviewing? I mean, because when I say whatever, I mean, sometimes it's, hard, it's easy to interview your friend, but then it's harder to interview someone you've seen on TV every day and then you're in front of your face. Yeah. Maybe you get a little jittery, maybe you just can't ask them the same questions you would have asked them if you were in your bedroom. Right. No, everybody, everybody bleed the same way, man. Everybody take a shit, everybody take a piss, everybody want to have sex, you know what I mean? So everybody the same people just because this person got money or don't got money, yeah. don't mean he ain't the same person. That's real shit. Mean? Sometimes Jay-Z want a snicker, <laughs> you know what right. I mean? Sometimes uh, Tim Cook from Apple want to eat an apple, you know what I mean? So everybody the same, man. So I'm not scared of nobody. I'm scared to, to ask anybody in a damn thing. You know, I'm not no. Ask them. Ask them a question. Don't be scared to ask them anything. All they do is say no. Yeah. Now it's a lot of ten. They ain't going to harm you. Yeah. You know what I mean? If they do harm you, that's a good story. You got any yeah. brothers, sisters? I got a sister and a brother. I got a sister and a brother. Shout out to my sister, kid. What's up? What's up, kid? Yeah. Are they doing the same thing as you now? No. Nah. Nah. Well, you know, man. I I, I I ask you that because I know sometimes. 
people look up to the siblings who are doing things and they want to kind of get yeah. into the industry. Yeah. And it's like, ah, just stay, you know, stay, nah, stay focused. I always, I always, I always. And the further uh, you get up, so it's like. I always did my own thing. I never, like, follow a pack. I still to this day, I feel like I don't follow a pack. Like, I, I do what I want to do. I do my own thing. Like, when you pay attention to other people too much, you end up doing what they do. You know what I mean? So, I, I don't, I don't follow nobody. I don't feel like I'm a part of a pack and then I feel like I just do what I do. Do you do you see a major network in your future? Because nah, I remember I was interviewing Boss Lady one time and she was saying that. I want to be on the major network. I nah. want to be on the internet. I want to be digital. Oh, uh, that's a new wave of media, of course. Uh, I, want, I want my own he just uh, What's going on? What's happening? What, we good? You good? I'm great. Can't complain. No complaints here. I want my own. I want my own MCN, my own multi-channel network that has all my content that I create. So that's what I want. Right. So me and Philip are going to be doing. So man, I know I know you're busy. People starting to roll in the yeah. office, so and uh, you gave us a lot of true information, man. Cool. I gotta thank you for letting me rock with you. Thank you. Blog. You want to give your contact with so they can kind of get at you? I'm Blogzilla. B L O G X I L L A. That's the shooter. He got the gun. B L O G X I L L A. Your boy.